Got it. We are very happy to be here for the second year in a row in honor of Susie at the Strive for Susie 5K. And um, again, just thank you guys for your support year after year. And I'm going to introduce Bonnie Adario, who's the founder of the foundation. I'm um, a very, very lucky lung cancer survivor. Six years and, and, and going. Only 2% of us... Only 2% of us diagnosed at late stage get to be in this position. Less than 8% of every dollar goes to overhead for our foundation. All of the rest goes directly to research. I want to introduce somebody very special to me. We have a group uh, that has just started about two years ago. The name of the group is called Jill's Legacy. It's in honor of a very young girl who died uh, from lung cancer at age 22. A DT, or are you a DT? Susie's niece and Jay Shree's daughter. And she is part of Jill's legacy, and she's actually our research expert, and she's got something to say to you today. Thanks, Um, Welcome all to the second annual Stride for Susie. I missed the first one. I was running in Boston, so I'm glad to actually be here in Saratoga today and see all of you. Um, as Bonnie mentioned, I'm actually doing my research in cancer, and specifically lung cancer. And being at the bench and doing boring things like pipetting all day, I know firsthand that research is very incremental. Innovation comes in really small steps. Um, but luckily, in lung cancer, a disease where the treatment hasn't changed in 50 years, um, just last month, a new drug called crizotinib was approved to actually give personalized care for some particular patients with lung cancer who have mutations. And that's the power of science, and that's the power of research, and that's the power of all the money that we're raising today where it's going to to help save lives by improving, this, um, by improving the state of treatment today. And more importantly, when I look out today and I see all of you here, I see um, people from my high school, from way back when, several years ago, I see family, friends, people from the council. I see a community, and I know that in research, when we're alone by on the bench, we're making small steps, but together as a community, we make large strides. So, I... That's what my aunt was always advocating for, that as a community, we can do it together, no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, we have a bond here today. We're all going after the same cause. And so with that in mind, please enjoy our stride for Susie and let's give it up for the three miles that we're gonna walk, stride, and just today. Hey, my name is Brian Spee and I'm one of the vice principals here at Saratoga High School. What thrills me about this event is something that he touched on when we talked today. And that was the notion that Susie liked to be everywhere, liked to be doing things publicly. We do so much in this community that is good, but so much goes on beyond, uh, beyond the public purview in our homes and our computers and in private spaces. I would just encourage everyone who's here today, continue to do things like this publicly. Continue to be at each other's events, to support each other, to care for each other, to do brilliant work, or to support brilliant work like that, which uh, Aditi is doing. This year we raised more money, we have almost as many people out. It, it, it's really a phenomenal work that's going on. So again, thanks for being here. Okay. That Susie must, be, must have been a terrible poker player if she ever played poker. Be, and her sister too. Because they tell you straight up what they think. And, uh, and then, then I started thinking about it, well maybe not. Susie would investigate everything she wanted to do. And check every last detail out. And then she was all in. And so maybe she would have been a really good poker player. No, she went all in on the community. She ran for city council, which had to be a huge risk. Okay? She took that risk and did good for the community. Too many of us don't want to take those risks in life. I would like to have us all of us here today, and I appreciate you coming, go all in on making this an annual event. Thank <laughs> you.